I'm sure people must question and wonder, how does a French fry get so much popularity? But uh, McCain's uh, Canada and International has done such an amazing job uh, taking a product that I'm sure they had no idea it was going to be what it is today. And uh, I mean, we're glad that it is. It, it's meant a lot to this community and to the communities outside of this area. And uh, even, in, you know, around the world, globally, the French fry, uh, again, we've often say, and it's known that uh, one in three French fries sold in the world is a McCain French fry. So amazing the work that they have done and, and what it's meant to a community, for, for farmers, for, uh, you know, businesses. It's amazing. Squeeze it and then, oh, and see if you can hit anything. We've got some of our exhibits, but we also have a shooting gallery with potato guns, some old fashioned toys that a lot of kids I don't think have seen ever before as well. So we've set it up over there. We have them shooting and seeing if they can hit some cans. When they're making the best French fries, we have to make sure that they have the right size of potato. People like long fries, so they have to get ones that grow nice and big. They also have to get ones that don't yellow or go brown too easily. They have to get ones that really crisp up well on the outside. So up here at the McCain Institute, where they do the food research, they're always looking at what breeds work better, and they're always trying to perfect the best French fries, something that we're all really appreciative of. There's some nice hot fries for you. The community is strong, it's thriving, and uh, continues to move forward. Uh, we've seen that just in the past with McCain's expansion and, and the IBM uh, uh, company coming here as well in Florenceville, Bristol. It's, it's a community that is not uh, by any way slowing down. We're continuing to move forward.